could this be what future streets look like? It's a path that's made with tiles that generate energy from people's footsteps. Every time people walk, the tiles capture their kinetic energy and turn it into electricity. And one footstep generates around 5 watts, which is enough to light a bulb for 20 seconds. The tiles have been created by PaveGen, who were visiting my hometown of Birmingham, so I went down to visit them to see exactly how they work. So PaveGen works by converting the weight of your footstep into electrical power. It converts your weight, so the heavier you are, the more energy can be produced. When you walk on our tile, it moves around 5 millimetres, and that energy is used to drive our flywheels. These flywheels are embedded in the floor, they spin, and can produce up to 4 watts or 4 joules of energy per step. The heavier you are, the more power you get. If you jump on it, you can do 10, 20 joules, 20 watts of energy for one second. We store that energy in batteries, or we use it instantly. So today we're in the ball ring, we're using the energy instantly to do things like power some lights, but we're also storing it to allow people to do things like charge their phone. So there's lots of different ways of using it. So this is inside, but does this work outside too? Like how does it deal with stuff like water? Yeah, so we've had to engineer this product to withstand the harshest environments in the world. It has to survive being put underwater one meter deep because that could happen when there's flooding, but also environmental challenges. So when it gets really cold, we have to engineer the product to withstand freezing conditions. But also when you go to places like the Middle East, the inside of the product turns into an oven. You could cook a fry up in that page. <laughs> so you've got to make sure it can withstand incredibly high heat too. And that brings me on to my next question, which is all about maintenance. Like if you did have this, you know, in a heavy use area, like an airport or a train station, how easy would it be to maintain or how regularly would you have to maintain it? I've spent years developing this product and at times I failed because it's really difficult to build a product that can withstand this harsh environment. Just imagine vandalism. Imagine what a rugby team jumping up and down on one tile could do to the product. So we've now engineered it so there's a design life of around 20 years. I actually think the products behind me will outlive me. It's incredibly durable technology that can withstand high weight, millions and millions of footsteps. And that's the really special thing about this PaveGen technology. And once that 20 years is up, is there any um, idea of like reusing that material or the recyclability of it? Or like, have you thought like that far into the future? First of all, you can swap out the different components of a paved gen. We have a key, you can open it up, and if something went wrong, you can just swap it out. Um, we've got a few ideas. So like, I actually have a range of paved gen furniture oh, that nice. we use. So <laughs> if we have a triangle that we has been used and we don't need it anymore, we make it into like tables and you can do different stuff with it. So we, we are reusing it into different items. The generators can be used as light holders as well. So we are uh, reusing them in different fun ways. Is this just for big businesses, like big shopping centers like today, or will the everyday person be able to get their hands on this in the future? My mission is to take paved into every community in the world. We're starting with cities, we've got to find the people to pay for this technology to allow us to invest heavily in the R&D and, and scale up production. But it goes to every city, every town, every village and every community. So we started off by launching in a favela in Brazil and we used the energy of people playing football to power the lights and it was combined with some solar energy as well and it just showed it made such a difference in the community. It inspired people around sustainability and engineering um, but it also is a way to keep the lights on. So uh, from everything from playing at night time when it gets dark and especially in tropical countries it gets dark early and very quickly they can still learn they can read at night so we really want to take this to every community in the world eventually and you did that in nigeria too right i remember seeing uh, i think akon was there and there's a football pitch and it's the same situation over in nigeria yeah it's a really amazing project so we're in the dr bose college and if you were to zoom in at night on the whole college it's pitch black they have no access to energy so suddenly we empower the whole community that could see light at night, they could play football at night, they couldn't do before. And that was with Akon. You know, we're suddenly getting international hip hop stars get involved in sustainability. And you know, we need people like that to make it happen. And if you look at some parts of the world right now that don't have power, imagine what a change it would make from just something as simple as walking could actually light their communities. Talking of sport, could this be used on something like a running track? Like, could this be seen in the future Olympics or anything like that? Well, I don't know about Olympics, but you could definitely build running tracks and cycle tracks from it. Uh, we were specified recently in a 92 kilometer cycling and walking track in Dubai called The Loop. And it was amazing because every triangle is paved gen on this walkway and 92 kilometers. I mean, if me and you walk that, that's, I don't want to calculate how many steps, that's a lot of steps. It would take two weeks to do. Yeah. One of the questions I had from the audience was, obviously it takes a bit of energy to construct a paved gen tile. How much use would it need to kind of uh, create a net positive of like the use of the tile actually creating more energy than it, create, it used to create in the first place, if that made sense? Yeah, so it's all about the embodied carbon of the product. So first of all, if you offset a square meter of paved gen, 
versus a square metre of a normal floor like concrete. Today, paved in is about 20% less than a concrete floor. Now, concrete's bad, right? So we've got a plan for the next model of paved gen to be only 20% of the embodied carbon of concrete, so it'll be a lot less. And then also, if you talk about the lifetime uh, energy production versus the energy use, our, our target is to have a sub two year carbon payback on the product. Now, look, when you build one product, it's never gonna be green, just one, unless it's upcycled. Um, so we've gone for this journey in that I tried to go and initially make the product from entirely recycled material with a manufacturer. And they said, Lawrence, when you're making only a few thousand of me, forget it, it's not worth me setting up the line. But now we're getting into volumes where I find the manufacturer and I say, look, I want to actually make 20,000. They say, yes, yeah, sure, we'll set up the line. We'll put in a, a, a green polymer for you to use, will be recycled. So all the time we're working as hard as we can to get that embodied carbon down of our product. What's your vision next for PaveGen and how do you see it playing part of a more sustainable future? Look, it's really hard to build a renewable technology from scratch to get it to scale. Like, it's quite easy to build a concept that people see. And I think the really big challenge is that people need to understand to go from an idea to something that's global takes a huge amount of energy, resource, investment. You know, just look at Tesla cars. Although they're hailed as like a good thing now, they've taken hundreds of millions of investment to get to where they are today. So we've got to scale up in order to allow us to bring the cost down of our products, to use more recycled materials in the product itself, to increase our global distribution, because I can't just do it with me yeah. in London. <laughs> I need a big team of people to help us to tell the story around the world, to sell it into those like really important markets where we can make change happen. So we've got to scale up. Once we do that, we can get more installations, and then we can, with the price coming down, it allows us to make much more impact on different communities, not just a small spot here in Birmingham and a, a few train stations around the world. It actually means that wherever you walk in future cities, all your steps will be used to generate energy for people to, to actually use them in a powerful way. If you'd like to see these installed in a place near you, hit the like button, drop your thoughts on these in the comments and subscribe to hear more of the latest innovations helping to create a better planet.